Siberian cat versus Norwegian forest cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Siberian cat, a glamorous native feline from the taiga of Siberia, a forested area with a subarctic climate that no doubt contributed to this cat's long, thick, protective coat. The Siberian cat is highly affectionate with family and playful when they want to be. However, their exercise needs aren't overly demanding, and they're just as happy to snuggle up with their humans as they are to chase a laser toy maybe even happier. These cats will follow you all over and gladly participate in whatever you're doing sometimes whether you like it or not. If you crave a warm cuddle buddy for those cold nights in Siberia, or wherever you live the Siberian cat may be the perfect feline family member for you. The gentle and friendly Norwegian forest cat is fond of family members but does not demand constant attention and petting. They are also called Weejay for short. The Siberian cat typically weighs 8 to 17 pounds and sometimes more. The Norwegian forest male cats can weigh 13 to 22 pounds or more, with females somewhat smaller. They mature slowly and aren't full grown until 5 years of age. These medium-sized Siberian cats were certainly built for their environment in the forests of icy Siberia. Siberian cats have long, triple-layered, water-resistant coats and sturdy, muscular bodies that seem heavy compared to their size. Their thick coat of long hair comes in any color including solid white, black, red, blue and silver. With all of that hair, it's unsurprising these cats do a lot of shedding. Twice a year Siberian cats actually molt. In the spring, this breed sheds their longer, warmer winter coat, and in the fall they shed a shorter summer coat. Despite all of that shedding, Siberian cats are considered hypoallergenic because their skin produces less of the chemical associated with cat allergies. Norwegian forest cats are athletic, muscular cats with large bodies. Their long coats are shiny and water resistant, adapted for the harsh Norwegian winters. Norwegian forest cat is not considered hypoallergenic, though some owners with allergies do find they have fewer allergic reactions to this breed. Norwegian forests are often compared in appearance to the Maine Coon, but Norwegian forest cats are slightly smaller with a more slender frame. Norwegian forest cats also have almond-shaped eyes, whereas the Maine Coon has rounder eyes. The Siberian's heart is as warm as his homeland is cold. He loves people and wants to be near them, so expect this affectionate cat to follow you around, including to the bathroom, and to help you with all of your reading, TV viewing, computer work, and meal prep. Sitting in your lap while you comb his fur may well be the highlight of his day. When you come home from work, he might not have a martini waiting, but he will be pleased to tell you all about his day in quiet. Pleasant trills and chirps, interspersed with a few meows and purrs. Guests will find him to be a genial host, this is not typically a cat who is shy in the presence of strangers. Besides being loving and attentive, the Siberian is also active and playful. He will instigate games of fetch by bringing you a favorite toy to throw. Any item can become a plaything for this clever cat, so keep jewelry or other potentially intriguing items out of his sight. Teaching him tricks is a fun and easy way to challenge his agile brain. Because of his heritage as a forest dweller, he likes playing with water, perhaps it's a genetic memory of going fishing for his supper. Don't be surprised if he enjoys splashing you in the tub, drinking from a fountain or faucet, or making puddles by batting his paw in his water dish. As befits a working and hunting cat, he's highly athletic and you may find him balancing atop a doorway or propelling himself to the highest point in the room. Siberian coaches may well be the secret to the success of Russian gymnasts. Activity and noise won't bother him a bit. His calm nature gives him the potential to be a therapy cat. If nothing else, he will be happy to snuggle with you when you're down with a cold or other illness. And although he loves attention, he's not needy and will wait patiently until you have time to devote to him. The gentle and friendly Norwegian forest cat is fond of family members but does not demand constant attention and petting. He is satisfied to be in the same room with people and will entertain himself if no one is home. Although he appreciates the human company, he can be a bit reserved with visitors. Even with family, He's not much of a lap cat, but a nice scritch between the ears or beneath the chin is always welcome, and he'll usually reciprocate with a nice head butter cheek rub. He communicates with classic Scandinavian restraint. His quiet voice is employed only when he needs something dinner on time, and rises only if he is ignored. This large and athletic cat is a climber. You will often find him at the highest point he can reach in the home, and unlike some cats, he doesn't have any qualms about descending trees or other heights headfirst. Thanks to his heritage as a wilderness and farm cat, not to mention his waterproof coat, the Ouija thinks nothing of fishing in a body of water for a nice meal. Aquarium and koi pond denizens, beware. While he loves the outdoors, he is content to live quietly in a home. This is a smart, independent cat who learns quickly and has an alert nature. He likes to play and thrives with a busy family that loves him. Hello. This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. 
Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out vmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Most of the Siberian's growth occurs in his first year and a half of life. Your kitten's breeder may recommend that you feed him kitten food during that time to make sure he gets enough nourishment. The Siberian's thick triple coat should be combed or brushed a couple of times a week to prevent tangles or mats. The coat will shed seasonally in the spring and fall, and you may need to groom more frequently during that time. A bath is rarely necessary, which is a good thing because the coat is highly water resistant. It can be difficult to get a Siberian wet enough to shampoo him. Brush or comb the Norwegian forest cat's long coat once or twice a week, using a bristle brush, wire slicker brush, or stainless steel comb. If you run across tangles, work them out gently so you don't hurt the cat. A bath is rarely necessary, which is a good thing. With the Ouija's practically waterproof coat, it can be very difficult to get him wet enough for a bath. He is certainly built to survive a cold climate. Brush their teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. It's a good idea to keep them as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. If possible, build them a large outdoor enclosure where they can jump and climb safely. The Siberian has a bold temperament, and nothing much ruffles his composure. These characteristics make him an excellent choice for a family with kids. No nighttime monsters will get past the Siberian on guard at the foot of a child's bed. The friendly, laid-back Norwegian forest cat is a perfect choice for families. He loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect, and he doesn't mind playing dress-up or going for a ride in a baby buggy. They are happy to live with other cats and cat-friendly dogs, too, thanks to their amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.